Hey guys, Nick Drossos from Code Red Defense here. I'm here with Moose. We're doing some ground fighting and he just said something completely different that what he would do if I was on the ground. What would you do, Moose? Well, like go on the ground, right? Like you're trying to protect yourself, right? I wouldn't just sit here and wait for you to hit me. So main objective is for you to get up as fast as possible. The reason why is I would launch myself like you. If oh. I see you, if I see you trying to hit me, First thing I want to oh, oh, shit. See? I would come in and smother you. And smother you. Break. That's what I would do. Now you guys can see how fast that attack happened, right? It's, it's 300 pounds, right? Now, I would never grapple with him. I would be striking as quickly as possible, right? So. If he's on top of me, come over here. I would suggest you get off the ground fast. Yeah, because once, it, just drop your weight, come down. He's here, boom, my hands are here. Like, trying to grapple with him is impossible. Just the weight, you want to try to angle. Right, this is when I start striking into the eyes, into the neck, right? I can still feel the weight. He's got way too much power. Try to, try to get him out of me. That's it, boom, I come right over here. I'd start striking, slamming the head on the floor, at an eye gouge, a neck crank. I try to come on top. Ooh. Boom, I'm out as quickly as possible. Guys, just the fucking weight of 300 pounds. So when people talk about how to defeat larger attacker and the guys grabbed you, grabbing me by the shirt and they're going, when you're faced with a larger attacker, you wanna do this, Guy's not gonna let you do that. And the good part is that I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> you While you're struggling. Exactly, to him. It's like, you know, imagine I'm 165, he's 300. Imagine me wrestling an 80 pound kid or an 80 pound man. You have to rely on your speed, your agility. You have seconds to move as quickly as possible. I couldn't even put him in my guard. If you think I'm gonna out grapple, yeah. If you're an expert grappler, I'm pretty sure you'll get a submission, but you'll work a lot to get a submission because even your arm bar, you'll probably, you could probably get up and slam you right down to the ground, but that's not the problem. The problem is he's got a buddy. He's got a friend. He's got a weapon. There's a lot of factors. And if you guys want to learn how to defeat a larger attacker, grab your biggest friend in the neighborhood and say, do you want to wrestle with me? Let's do a drill. You try to take me down. I will try to take you down. You go on top of me and try to put me on my back. I will and start learning how to clinch, how to feel energy, how to move, how to be agile. Do it with your eyes closed so you don't rely on what you see but what you can feel. So guys, this was like, you know, I, in our Code Red Defense Self-Defense videos and in the videos that you see, I don't like picking MMA guys. I don't like taking grapplers. I don't like taking people with, I like these guys. Guys who've been in street fights, guys who know how it works, guys who like, they're not gonna like, they're not here to play around. You know what I mean? Like, Moose, somebody picks a fight with him, I can guarantee he'll pick him up and body slam. He'll just use his weight, come in, boom, one shot. And these are the hardest guys because sometimes they're completely unpredictable. They're unorthodox. While one guy, you know, if I'm faced with a boxer, I know he's gonna do this, that, that, I know the angles. This guy, you know, I don't know his angles. I'll ram you. <laughs> I'll ram me, that's it. If there's a wall behind you, I'll just come in straight. Boom, ram you. <laughs> you see, right? Like a lot of people won't teach that because, you know, it's important as an instructor for me to teach you self-defense, but I like to hear, what would he do? How would he attack me? And you learn a lot because you're talking and everybody has their own way, their own strategy. He's big, that's what he would do. Have you ever trained for somebody to just ram you? No, everybody does it one arm lapel or the same you know, a common attack, but that's what he would do. When we were on the ground, I would just jump on top of you. Shit, you saw how fast he tackled me. And we have the idea, he's big, he's not fast, he's fast. He's really fast on his feet, he's a football player. Uh, you know, he's got agility and speed, don't let the size fool you. Again guys, when we make these self-defense videos, I try to make them as real as possible. This is why I bring you guys attackers who are bigger than me. I got cracked in the ribs before. I've been punched in the face in one of the videos by rock and my head was ringing. But that's the reality. That's how you're supposed to train. If you want to learn how to fight, at some point, you got to get hit. 
you gotta, you gotta fight. You can't learn how to swim unless you jump in the water. You can scientifically understand it. You could know, you could be like, I'll do this, I'll do that. If I throw you in the water, you're gonna drown. If you're scared of fighting, because the question, and I'm gonna make a complete video on how to overcome fear, uh, fear of fighting or fear of, you know, and I always say, your greatest enemy, when I'm faced with a guy like this, my greatest enemy is not him, is myself. Doubt. If you have a little bit of doubt and you say, holy shit, this guy's gonna waste me, it's me against him and me against me. If I doubt myself, I'm outnumbered. If I don't think I can take him, then how am I gonna take him if I don't believe I can? You have set yourself for failure before the, even the first strike is, is thrown. And if I think, holy shit, this guy's gonna beat me up, at the first punch he does, I'm gonna do this and take a beating. It's all in the mind. I yes. have a suggestion. If uh, something like that happens, just buy me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> you won't fight. <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. CodeRedDefense.com, keeping it real for you guys. Stay safe and stay strong.